happy Sunday. Do you guys know what's coming soon? Can you guess by what's behind me? Christmas. Uh, cr yes, Christmas. And Christmas is so much fun. We get to see all the pretty lights in front of people's houses. We get to see the Christmas trees. We put stockings on the chimney. But the most important part of Christmas is we get to celebrate the birth of Jesus, our Savior. So today we're going to learn about when Mary, the mother of Jesus, found out she was going to have baby Jesus. But if you remember last week, Mr. Valentin and um, I told you guys about, and little V and uh, Bella, about how Jesus uh, being born has was told many, many years ago, and he told you Isaiah 9, 6, right? For unto us a child is born, a son is given. Do you guys remember that scripture? I hope you do, and I hope you memorized it. But today we're in the book of Luke, and this is the announcement of Jesus being born to Mary. So if you have your Bible, you could go to Luke 1 and turn with me to uh, uh, verse 1, um, I'm sorry, Chapter 1, verse 26, it says, In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a, be a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph in the house of David. And the virgin was named was Mary. And he, and he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one of the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at this saying and tried to discern what kind of greeting this might be. So imagine this. Mary was a young girl. She was about to be married. And all of a sudden, an angel appears in her house and says, Greetings, great and favored one from the Lord. And she was troubled. That's another word of saying afraid. Would you be afraid if you saw an angel? I think I would, or at least I would be uh, amazed. But she was afraid, and he said, and he told her not to be afraid. So we're back on the reading in um, verse 30. And the angel says to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in the womb and bear a son, and you should call his name Jesus. And he will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give, give to him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. Of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, Angel, how could this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the, therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. That's how we know that Jesus is the Son of God, because the angel told Mary, and Mary was confused. She's like, I'm not married yet. How could I possibly have a son and I ha if I haven't been married? Remember, she was just engaged to uh, Joseph, but she wasn't married to him. And the angel said, the Holy Spirit would, will put this baby in your womb and he will be the son of God. And then he said, and behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age also conceived a son in the sixth month with her... <coughs> In the sixth month with her, who was called barren. Elizabeth was old and couldn't have kids. Kind of like Sarah, remember? We talked about Sarah, how she couldn't have a baby. But then God made a miracle. And in her old age, she had a baby. Elizabeth was the same way. She was very old. And the Lord had uh, made it a way for her to have a baby. But listen to what the angel says. For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to the word. And the angel departed from her. Wow, guys, this is the announcement of Jesus being born. And a couple things we could remember from this is how the angel said, 
Nothing is impossible for God. Maybe this Christmas, there's things going on in your family. Um, people that you might know, maybe there's someone that's sick. Maybe there's something going on in your home and you're saying, this is impossible. I want to remind you that nothing is impossible for God. What God was able to send his only son into the world, be born of a virgin Mary to save the whole world. And I love Mary's response. Mary was like, no, sorry, Lord, I'm too busy. She didn't do that. She said, let it be according to um, the will of the Lord. And we should all have that same attitude. We should desire to do what God has called us to do. So maybe today God is calling you to do something. You should say, I'm going to obey the Lord just like Mary did. So let's pray and close in prayer. Um, dear Lord, thank you so much for your love. Thank you for sending your son, a baby, into this world to be born of Mary and to um, live a perfect life so that he could die on a cross and bring us salvation. Lord, give us the faith to believe that. And um, Lord, help us to recognize that you are the real um, reason for the season and help us to celebrate you, Jesus, in this Christmas. In Jesus' name, amen.